Hi everyone. Before I begin, I want to thank all of you who are paying subscribers to FarsightPrime.com. It is only because of you that we are able to do these amazing projects. None of what we do is cheap. Only the best equipment can do what you are about to see. And our remote viewers are as good as they are only because we demand a level of professionalism that can only be obtained by people who watch this full time under the strictest of scientific conditions. Working totally blind through multiple sessions, including the final session recorded solo and blind on video. What we do is done by no one else. And you are the reason we can do this all for you. Thank you. Well, on May 2nd and 3rd, 2023, we took our specially configured full spectrum infrared Farsight Panasonic GH6 cameras to Pensacola, Florida to shoot the Blue Angels jets during an air show that was centered over the Pensacola Naval Air Base. Now, the idea was that we thought UFOs, or UAPs as they are now called, unidentified aerial phenomena, might appear during the show to observe the Blue Angels jets. Now, we didn't know if that would happen, but it seemed worthwhile to drive down to Florida and take a look. Huh. Well, while we were shooting the videos during the air show, we did not see anything amiss, just the Blue Angels jets flying around doing their maneuvers. But once we got the footage back to our studio in Atlanta and looked at what we got, our eyes popped out. In infrared and shooting at 120 frames per second to pick up really fast moving objects, we saw more UFOs than we thought was possible. There were potentially hundreds of crafts. Again, everything was in visible, invisible light. The UFOs obviously did not want to be seen by humans, but in infrared and slowed down to see fast moving objects more clearly, everything was clear as day. It was like nothing I had ever seen before, an entire fleet of what looked like hundreds of UFOs descending upon the naval air base en masse, flying all over the base and even following the Blue Angels jets. Now, why is this so important? UFO disclosure is a big news these days. Clearly something is going on in Washington, DC, but it really appears that the power brokers in Washington know something is happening, something that they are not controlling and they want to keep ahead of the game in some way. We truly believe that much of what they are looking at over their shoulders, so to speak, is farsight. Nowhere else is this full story of the extraterrestrial presence on Earth so clearly spelled out. And trust me on this, the Washington folks know this. We have seen it so often that sooner or later, after we do something provocative, someone out there reacts. Sometimes it is the channeling community that starts talking about, say, Earth being run as a prison, and then trying to spin that into some goofy and fluffy New Age positivism. Again, the human channelers are some of the best and most honest people on Earth, but more often than not, they are channeling real ETs who are using them to manipulate the human population for their own and bad reasons. But sometimes it is the government that reacts. As long as the basic question of whether the ETs exist is a nebulous big question mark, they can kick the disclosure can down the road forever. But once Farsight started to show how to make great video recordings of UFOs or UAPs, then they obviously had to react in some way. Now, then there is the issue of open censorship. We have no right-wing or left-wing political agenda. We never show graphic violence of any kind, and we never show sexualized images. Yet Farsight has been totally shadow banned by all of the major search engines if you search for the term remote viewing, which is what we do. A big exception is DuckDuckGo, which is one of the few honest search engines left. Mind you, Farsight is the only venue on the entire internet where you can see full public projects using highly trained remote viewers. Plus, we have an enormous free library of training videos for remote viewing. There is no other place you can go to see remote viewing in action in full public and well-controlled projects. Well, until a year or two ago, Farsight was always near the top of the results for remote viewing for all of the major search engines. But when the U.S. Congress demanded that the U.S. military start showing more declassified information regarding the UFO UAP phenomena, everything changed and Farsight was suddenly shadow banned. 
You could still find us if you search for the word Farsight. But if you search for remote viewing, which is what we do, we are nowhere to be found, including on Google and YouTube. That is shadow banning. And the authorities only shadow ban you when you are doing something important that they don't want you to know about. Remember when we came out with our report on a base on Mars housing both Earth humans and ETs? Well, we had a clear NASA-supplied image of the base, plus a pipeline coming from the base, leading to a huge nozzle and liquid spewing out of the nozzle. Well, we wrote up a report on our remote viewing results. It was accepted by a major scientific publication. And then, 10 days before publication, it was suddenly pulled and eventually scrapped. Like, what? You can still see the report and decide for yourself if you think it should have been published. We published it ourselves on Farsight's website, farsight.org. Just scroll down to the bottom of our homepage and you can see a link to the article perfectly formatted exactly the way it was supposed to come out in that scientific journal in 10 days. We only changed the name of the journal to Farsight Press. Well, again, here is the NASA photograph. And you know, Google has a Mars option for Google Earth. Well, this is what Google Earth shows for that same location on Mars. Do you get the idea? There's lots of stuff that the authorities do not want you to know about. You will be interested to know that Chaim Ashed, former head of the Israeli Space Directorate for 30 years, has publicly commented that there is a base on Mars that is manned by both Earth humans and extraterrestrials in a secret project, an underground base. So there is a lot of data backing up our remote viewing results. Plus, censorship is a big thing these days, which is why it is so important that we continue publishing our work on farsightprime.com and why it is so important that we acknowledge your help in making our work possible. If you are a paying subscriber to farsightprime.com, thank you. You are changing the world and seeing the truth that you can find nowhere else. If you have not yet started watching our full library of projects on farsightprime.com, consider becoming a paying subscriber. If this planet is going to be saved, we need to do it ourselves. Now, the UFO fleet descending on the Pensacola Naval Air Base is a big thing. We clearly have lots of video footage of the UFOs, or UAPs, flying all over the base during the Blue Angel show. That is very highly protected airspace. But with our project, we are not only showing you the ships with our footage that we took with our own cameras, we also sent our remote viewers in to look at what the ships were doing and to go into the ships and see who was flying them. We also had the remote viewers go into the naval air base to see if the authorities knew what was going on over their own heads. <laughs> and you know, we are telling you the good stuff that you really need to know about. If we were not, would Google, YouTube, and a host of other search engines be shadow banning us so that you have trouble finding what we do? <laughs> They're trying to keep our information away from you. And that's telling you that what we are doing is important to you. Those who want to keep information from you do it for their own purposes, not to help you. An entire fleet of UFOs descending onto a big U.S. Navy airbase is important, and you need to know about it. Moreover, the fact that the UFOs themselves don't want you to know about their activities tells you the information is doubly important. When everyone doesn't want you to know about something, that is the thing that you really need to know about. Don't let others control you. Knowing the truth sets you free. Also, in our last episode of our new show, Identified Flying Objects, hosted by Intisam, we had a discussion with our technical expert, Lincoln Lounsbury, a flight control specialist with decades of experience working in the control towers of some of the busiest and highly controlled airspaces in the United States, including Washington, D.C. And he did an analysis of the video evidence that is the focus of this actual mysteries project. That episode was released as a standalone program in June 2023, but we are also including it at the end of this video so that you can see it conveniently after watching all of our remote viewing data for this project. It is okay to be skeptical and to want to see hard evidence, both in terms of remote viewing and in terms of video evidence, all put together. And here you have it on farsightprime.com. I am Courtney Brown, director of Farsight, 
At Farsight, we studied the perceptual process known as remote viewing. Remote viewing is a mental process that is done using highly structured methodologies that are derived from those developed by the United States military and used for espionage purposes. But Farsight is civilian, and we use remote viewing for scientific experiments and for exploration. This new project conducted at Farsight employs remote viewers who are among the most experienced and highly trained viewers existing today. Intisam, Aziz Brown, Yeme Jene, and Shante. The remote viewers all describe much the same thing, all corroborating reports. And it is worth re-emphasizing, all of the remote viewing was done totally blind, and none of the remote viewers communicated with one another about the project during the data collection phase. This is not science fiction told through riveting remote viewing conducted under clean scientific conditions. This is as real as it gets. Now, as with all of our projects at Farsight, there is a target. And the target for this project is the fleet of UFOs that Farsight video recorded on May 2nd and 3rd, 2023 over the Pensacola Naval Air Base during the Blue Angel show. Additionally, there were a number of focuses that the viewers honed in on. Now remember, all the remote viewing was done totally blind. None of the remote viewers knew anything about the nature of the project or the target while they were doing their remote viewing. For the focuses, they were only told to move to focus one, focus two, focus three, and so on. They were not told what those focuses meant. They did everything totally blind. So the first focus is obviously the UFO fleet recorded in May 2023 over the Pensacola Naval Air Base. But the next focus is the orb recorded over the Pensacola Naval Air Base in the video clip P1020121. Now that particular video clip contained a video of an orb UFO that shot across the frame from left to right and then turned to go away from the camera directly over the Naval Air Base. Now, the next focus is Subject A, the leading commander of the Pensacola Naval Air Base during the shows by the Blue Angels. And the final focus is Subject R, the leading commander of the UFOs over the Pensacola Naval Air Base during the shows by the Blue Angels. I think all of this will be clear to you as you watch the sessions. Mm -hmm. 